What's up guys, it's Apollo Chia here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new movie. The name of this movie is What If Naruto Became a Sensei and yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie. And before continuing this, shout out is due where it is due. Shout out to my boy Jimmy Day Sid Dice for suggesting this idea. It was quite a unique idea. So yeah, I thought why not I make this. And stay tuned, a story will be coming to my second channel today. It may or may not be Naruto's or I, I don't know, maybe I'll try something different on that channel. So yeah, aside from that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to both of my channels if you like the content of these channels and yeah, I'm trying my best to cover up all of your ideas to the best of my abilities. So I hope you don't mind the delay and all that. Anyways, enough of my yippee yapping. Without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Roll the intro. Our story begins on October 10th in night time. As we go towards the outskirts of the Konoha Gakure no Sato, as there we see a lot of people were gathered there, as they were in a defensive position, and leading them was an old man, and that old man was none other than Hiruzen Sarutobi, who had a grim expression on his face, because right in front of them was Kyubi no Yoko, but that was not what they were worried about, they were worried about what its eyes represented. Its eyes represented three tomos and that indicated that it was in a in genjutsu and only one being was capable enough of doing that, Madara Uchiha. And seeing those tomos has confirmed that Madara was alive and well even after all these years of them thinking that he was dead and defeated by the first Tokage. And not only that, he was back again and has manipulated the QB again. But that was the least of their worries right now. Now they had to defeat and stop the QB or at least die trying because it was on a war path to destroy their village. That was something they could not allow. As Hiruzen quickly took the charge and was trying to fight a one-sided losing battle. But that all stopped when a huge toad appeared and even the odds for a little bit until Minato and Kushina arrived only for them to be pierced through the QB's nail as Minato was able to complete his jutsu, the Hakai Fujin seal. A forbidden seal from the scroll of sealing that only the Uzumakis used to seal away the most of the most scum traitors from their clan. And Naruto's fate was sealed as he had to become the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails. But before the Biju could be sealed, its Genjutsu broke finally because of the Shinigami's influence. As it spoke, Hiruzen, what have I done? Kyubi, no, Kurama, it seems that you were. He's back, isn't he? Yes, he was. And. Damn it! What have I done? Kushina, Minato, I. I am. It's alright, Kurama. We we know. It's not your fault. But I could have I could have been I thought I was strong enough right now to not be under It's alright, said Minato, while coughing blood. Just protect our son. I will. You know that more than anything. I will protect him. He is my godchild after all. As now we see, QB disappeared as it was now sealed inside Naruto. As Minato and Kushina fell down to the ground. As Hiruzen arrived there, and Kakashi, Minato's student, picked up Naruto. Sensei, I have picked up Naruto kun. Thanks, Kakashi. Hiruzen sama. Please watch over Naruto. He. he is over here. We know. As you have heard your Kage's dying wishes, he said, looking towards all of the Anbus who were there and the Jonins. As they nodded, yes. It has been confirmed by him himself that he it is his son and you are all witnesses it has been done Minato anything else just protect him protect him from Madara he is back as with those words Minato passed away as now we see clouds begin to gather around over the top of the village in the sky as thunder boomed as he risen and said wrap everything up gather those who have died and look throughout the derbries. Kakashi, you follow me. Now spread out. Prepare for a funeral tomorrow onwards. 
as Hiruzen then grabbed Naruto as Kakashi walked beside him. Hiruzen-sama, what are we gonna do? You don't have to worry about anything. More than enough people who were in the battlefield and present have witnessed what Minato said and have become witnesses that Naruto is their legal child, as they have confirmed from their own mouths. There's nothing to worry about. But the council, the council is on our side. You have to believe me on this one. As Kakashi witnessed, as all of them were already present in the council chambers, the clan heads who were covered in dirt and tattered clothes, as well as the civilians who looked like they were in tip-top condition, and finally, the elders. So this child is the child who was used for to seal the bijou. You know that the Kyubi no Yoko is an ally of ours, said Homura, an elder, looking towards the civilian who said this, but it's attacked our village. Under the influence of Madara Uchiha, said Shikaku Nara as he stood up. We all saw that. Only Madara, it has been confirmed by Hashirama and Mito-sama in the past, is capable and more than capable enough of manipulating the QB because of its roots and the most purest form of Sharingan. Isn't that right, Fugaku? Yes, it is the truth. But still, the Biju has caused enough damage and it has never been done and sealed inside. Uh, infant child. What if the Biju corrupts the child? The child is, as the Biju said and you all heard, it's God child. It would never harm Naruto. But what about us? Don't get us wrong, Hokage-sama. We respect Minato, Kushina, and even him. And that is why we will bear with him. But keep in mind that we have no goodwill towards him as well. He has caused a lot of us harm today. And the trust that we had on Kushina Sama and QB is gone. Henceforth, we do not trust the kid. Only time will tell what the future holds for him. As now we see, the civilians were ordered to then walk out because they had nothing better to say or do then, meaning their presence there was irrelevant. As now we move on, Danza was about to suggest something stupid until he was stopped by Kaharu. Enough, Danza. You and all of us already here know that what you are suggesting is nothing more than incurring QB's wrath even further beyond. Because Mito-sama and Hashirama-sama have been allies with it, and it has helped Mito-sama in more than many ways. And then when Mito-sama passed, passed Kurama-san to Kushina, she also became ally to Kurama, and Kurama became ally to us. He is a part of this council. He is a part of this village and it is not the village's property. Hmm. So you agree with Hiruzen? Even if the Biju causes this much damage. The Biju caused the damage under the influence of the Sharingan of Madara Uchiha and only Madara is capable or more than strong enough to manipulate the QB, the strongest G Biju to ever exist. Nobody knew that the Madara was still alive and it will, he will attack today of all the days. Hmm. I guess you were right. But bear in mind, there are always, always other options that we haven't tried, but they could have been successful. But I will just sit back and, and watch how the cards unfold in the future. Oh, you bet your tau, Danzo. It will be much more better than whatever you suggest, said Hiruzen. So it has been confirmed that Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze Senju is going to be kept secret from not only the civilians but also from the well outer world so what are we gonna say the family is dead but who will raise him kakashi is going to be the next dragon anbu since he is going to be the next dragon anbu he has given me an idea while we were coming how about naruto to be raised in an anbu program Hmm, I have no objection to that. If he is integrated into the Anbu program, it will be much better for him, since he will be focused on studying and developing and becoming strong, not playing a child. Yes, that is true, because the civilians, it was a gamble, but they have confirmed that they will not ha let Naruto have an easy life. But we will give Naruto a little bit of freedom, unlike you, Danzo. So that is why it is different. Naruto will be taken up at an easy pace, but... If he's shown prodigal skills of both his mother and father, then he will advance further beyond. 
Then all we can say is that we have come to an agreement and wait and see what the kids future hold. Yes, all of them said in unison. And henceforth, the meeting came to a close. Now we have a time skip of four years. Four years later we see Naruto in a training field and around him were all none other than Chunins. Chunins! As Chunin level Anbus were also present. As they were now engaged in a Taijutsu battle with Naruto. Naruto was able to deflect most of the, well, attacks they got, uh, well, throw at him, but a few of the projectiles made their way through him as Naruto, well, literally gritted his teeth. But then something interesting happened. He threw a smoke bomb and disappeared, appearing behind them. And then his fingers clenched, and then a bright shining silver line appeared. Ninja wires was the only word they yelled out before they were trapped in it, as Naruto's hand was not completely clutched. To you, we give. As that is when a clapping sound was heard as the elders and Hiruzen was there. Well done Naruto-kun. You have outsmarted the Chunins, meaning at the mere age of four you are more than capable enough of defeating Chunins with experience, said Kakashi as he arrived there, looking angry as Naruto gulped. <laughs> Hey, uh, Dragon Sama, uh, Nissan, Naruto said in a jokingly manner. As the elders raised their eyebrow, and so did Hiruzen. What do you mean, experience? Turns out Naruto has been hinging into an Anbu core named Parrot and has been going around. Well, the current Anbu just lazes off to gain some experience. You mean the Parrot that has been awarded a lot of, well, awards as well as bonuses in the past year? Yes. Naruto, is this the truth? Y yes, Gigi, I'm not gonna lie, it is the truth. But why, my child? You are only three years old. I am four and I have more experience, so yeah, it's win-win for me. Take your shirt off instantly. I want to see if you are hurt anywhere. <sighs> Luckily enough, I got his scans. He got a few fractures here and there, but nothing more major. It all healed instantly, thanks to Kurama. As that is when we see Naruto in his mind was, well, panicking. Uh oh, not good, not good at all. I don't want them to stop my studying, not now. I'm this close to becoming more strong. Jeez, kid, what is with you and your infatuation with becoming strong? Well, if I get strong early on, then it might give me a chance to become the youngest Kage in the whole world. So that is what you're aiming for? Yup. <sighs> you really are an idiot, don't you know? Don't you get it? Oh, wait, wh what do you mean? I'm an idiot and. What do what I don't get? The strongest shinobi is the Kage, and if I am the strongest early on, I can be the Kage easily. Being a Kage takes a lot of practice, patience, and not only being the strongest, but also being tactically genius. But I am genius. In battle and combat, yes, but in decision making, in war, no, you don't have that experience, kid. Not yet. Aw, oh, come on, Kurama, don't be like that. I am just showing you the truth. You still have a lot of growing to do, Naruto. And plus, who will make a 10-year-old Akage, even if you are able to achieve Jonin level rank at that age? As Naruto bought it. Ha, huh, whatever you say. As now we see, the elders then said, Hmm, the kid has advanced far further beyond if I have ever imagined, said Danzo. See, told it wasn't a bad move. Hiruzen had something under his sleeve, and plus, what civilian did, it was kind of a blessing in disguise. Naruto has advanced so much further on at such a short time of age. As they all looked towards Naruto, but whatever you did, kid, it was quite dangerous, said Danzo, surprisingly. Um, I'm sorry, what? Danzo-sama? Yes, you heard me right. At the mere age of three, impersonating an Anbu, who will be punished for letting you allow to do this? But not only that, going without any proper experience or guidance into a full-blown shinobi combat, you could have gotten seriously hurt, or better yet, killed. But what you did is quite commendable, maybe foolish but quite commendable, and quite astonishing. At the mere age of three, you were able to not only get in a combat, but also was able to withhold it and come at out top. No matter how you did it, with a fluke or with experience that you gained throughout, reading tactical analysis and all those stuff, you have suddenly become a formidable shinobi in amongst our ranks. With that word, Danzo turned and began to leave. And so did the elders with a smile on their faces. 
You did good, Naruto kun, said Koharu. Ah, uh, thanks, Obachan. As now we see Hiruzen stand up. As Naruto then said, What was that? He he never complimented me. He was always cold and quiet. Well, that's Danza's ways of saying that he's quite impressed and amazed. It's quite his way of giving compliments. Don't get used to it though. He won't give it to you regularly. But I am still quite deeply, deeply hurt by you keeping this secret. What about Parrot Kakashi? Well, he has been taken care of. He has been given assignment to clean all of the village clan clan's toilets for the next two months. Ah, uh, sorry, Parrot son. I didn't think that this kind of punishment will befall on you. And what about Naruto's punishment? Said Kakashi as Naruto gulped as he looked towards both of them with a smile. <laughs> Told you. You're still you too young, kid. Ah, man. Naruto thought to himself. As now we see him in a civilian clothes in a park. Seriously? This? <laughs> well, you have to act like your own age, kid, for once. Please. I mean, you're four. You're not that old yet. But I was raised in an Anbu, well, facility. Being having resources of all the shinobi gear and all the materials that were equivalently right and all the senses that are far better beyond the normal academy senses, I was able to advance. And you're a prodigal genius, nonetheless, Naruto. That is why you were able to advance, said Kurama. As both of them were talking, they were walking in a park. As when they arrived there, they saw that some of the boys were bullying someone, or a bunch of kids. As Naruto noticed this with a raised eyebrow, what? Bullying at such a young age? As Naruto arrived there, oi, who are you bullying? Look, it's the demon kid. <laughs> what do you want, demon? Do you want to get punched? The kid literally threw a punch at Naruto, only for Naruto to stop it with a finger, which was his pinky finger. Hmm, is that all? As Naruto literally flicked him, sending him a few feet back, as all of them were now scared. Run, bastards. As all of them dashed away, running around like headless chickens. Ah, <sighs> this is so boring. And that is when Naruto noticed a sniffing sound. He looked down to see there were three girls who were bruised badly and malnourished. Oh, yeah. this doesn't look good, Naruto. Not good at all. Um, what happened to you three? Ayuga, Ayamanaka, and who is she? Hmm, I can, I can remember those facial features. A uh, Haruno. Haruno is a civilian clan from Haruno Trading Company. Am I right? Yes. Are you Haruno, Yamanaka, and Ayuga? H how did you? No. The three of them said as they flinched. Well, because of your features. But why are you so, well, thin and bruised? As they flinched again. And after that, they begin to tear up. Oh, hey, don't cry. It's alright. It's alright. I, I, I won't ask if you don't want to tell me. How about this? Why don't we go grab some snack? No, anything but that. We, we don't want to go into the village. Don't want to go into the village? But why? We'll get some fresh food there. Come on. N no, it's fine here. As Naruto then noticed that their clothes were also tattered and patched up. Hmm, something is not right here. How about this? Why don't I go and grab you something to eat, huh? And a few sets of clothes. While you guys sit around here and wait. C can you do that? Said Ino. But I don't even know your name. What are your names? As they flinched. Oh, oh, oh. We, we, we forgot. My name is Ino, and she she is Hinata, and this is S Sakura. Hmm. My name is Naruto, Ino, Sakura, and Hinata. Nice to meet you. Don't worry, I'll get you something to eat. Any specifics that you want? A anything is fine. Really, thank you. As Naruto went and grabbed some desserts, as well as some ramen and some... Dangos. As after Naruto arrived, he gave all of the food to them. Here you go. Enjoy. As now we see Naruto feeding them this. As after it was done, we see they heard a voice coming towards them. As they looked towards Naruto. Please, please hide. We, we don't want you to be beaten. By whom? By us. Said a voice. As a Yuga, an elder one, attacked Naruto. Only for Naruto to... Grab him by his hand and literally twist it to make him fall to his knees. As Naruto looked him into the eye straight. Hmm. From the mark on your forehead, 
you are from a branch family and the girl doesn't have a mark meaning she is from a main branch family and why is she in this condition i have nothing to answer to you you commoner better let me go or or what naruto said grabbing his wrist much more tightly how is this kid so strong damn it my wrist it's gonna break and that is when we see the main clan had arrived naruto -kun. it's been a long time it's been a long time here, Ashisama. May I ask why this, well, branch member attacked me? You, you know this commoner? As instantly the said branch member was on the ground, squirming in pain. Do you know who you are talking to? He is the clan head of Namikaze Senju and Uzumaki. As that is when everyone's eyes widened. I'm, I apologize, Naruto-kun. I, well didn't taught most of the people about your existence. It's alright, nothing to worry about. But more than anything, I am concerned about these three. As Yashi looked towards his daughter and flinched until his eyes grew cold. Those eyes, kid, he... Well, I must properly educate my daughter and let my friends know that their daughters are, well, you know, in this condition. Thank you for keeping an eye out for them, Nara. Well, I'll be off then. As now we see Naruto left. As we go towards the Yuga compound, where we see Inoichi Yamanaka and Mabuki Haruno was arrived. Mabuki, Inoichi, thank God you are here already. I have sent it, you have sent it your men to call for us. What is it? Your daughters were roaming around and they made contact with Naruto. What? Why? Why him of all the people? Said Mabuki. That, that shouldn't be allowed. Not him. Not him at all. We need to educate them and tell them to never leave the premises. It seems that the previous beating was not enough for you, you know. <sighs> Why don't you get it? This is for your own good. As now we see, the three of them were slapped hard across their faces until they fell down and a few drops of blood even came out of their mouth and some tears as after that we see they were taken on the other side Naruto was advancing in his shinobi carrier and studies the three of them their treatment gotten worse they were even ridiculed by the lowest of the clan and not only them by their own siblings as for Hinata and as for Hino she was also disregarded even by their parents by now. The care that little bit they had, it was gone. And as for Sakura, she was outright beaten to the point that she was now much more weaker. But their only escape now ever came was that they were placed in the academy, where they met a boy named Sasuke who they developed a crush upon. And let's just say that didn't add it anything but fuel to the fire. And while the time passed, the academy five years passed. They became Ganons with the lowest of the scores. They solidified that the three of them will not be the head of the clans and they were hated and despised by the village altogether because of their reputation that has grown out. The civilians, well, they needed someone to lay out their hatred on. So Naruto, who was out of the picture, even his hatred was included all upon the hatred of them being useless and were inflicted on them. They were ridiculed, outright ignored and caused and treated as an outcast amongst the outcasts even amongst their families and friends and they were labeled to not and never be the clan never be a part of clan ever again after becoming Ganons so they had to move out and a little bit of the missions that they did which even D ranks were quite well difficult to get by they were making a living for themselves somewhat and were able to at least buy a place for themselves as well. Apartment in which only a single mattress was laid in which the three of them well laid together and rested while also comforting each other. While this was going on the tuning exams were drawing near and that is when they heard uh, news that was floating around. And that was, the village will kick them out, taking their headbands away because of the civilian council and the, well, their clans influencing this motion because of their uselessness. 
if they don't have good results in the tuning exams meaning they had only about two years at tops to advance the tuning exams because that is how long the tuning exams were going to held at and on the other side while this was going on we see that naruto who has been now a kage level shinobi and has been making a name for himself as ghost in the whole elemental nation was being called to hokage office <sighs> naruto -kun. you can drop the mask you know jeez gg it looks cool Plus, it's a black mask like the Rutanbu in the past. As Danza flinched a little bit. As everyone else then chuckle. <clears throat> Regardless of what you're making fun of, Uzumaki, we have called you here for a reason. W what is it, elders? The three girls which you made contact of, I hope you remember. Oh, you mean Ino, Hinata, and Sakura, right? I believe I remember their names correctly because. I only made contact once with them, after that I was just too busy to never get in touch with them. Huh, they are the first friends I have that I made. What happened? Are they happy now? Good condition or something? Or did something bad happen? Nard said getting serious. <sighs> we'll tell you everything, just sit down. As after everything was revealed to them, Nard was shocked. What? How could, how could their own parents do this to them? Pressure, Naruto. Pressure to the point that they too begin to believe the words of the clan. Brainwashing. Pressure brainwashing. And now the three girls, those three poor little souls, they are suffering. Unknown to them, it has been me who has been generously giving them donations to survive in this cruel world. But for how long, Naruto? How long? Now they even have put motion to get rid of them from the village. But if that happens, there is no chance for us to not and do not do anything. But we know something that is much more sinister going to happen, Naruto," said Danzo. "The clans are going to kill them, hide their embarrassment. How can they kill their own daughters like this? Disregardable. It is quite common in clans. That that is not good. That is not nice at all. How could they do this?" And how could you stand for this? This is not the elders and Gigi I believed in would stand for. Trust me, we tried. But they have gotten even the daimyo's backing. How could they have done that? How could the daimyo have agreed to such a cruel behavior? <sighs> Money, Naruto. Money. They did a lot of, well, embezzlement. And the money they created, they put it in into the funds for putting forward this motion. So the daimyo had nothing more than to agree because he was getting the cut. The cut? You mean his cut? Yes. Damn it. Why are so many corrupt people on top of our heads? And that is why to help them out, I have gotten under a lot of secrets and dirt. The Haruno company, as they claim to be, is actually the Uzumaki Enterprises, which was given to the Haruno's to look out for. But they claim that their company is theirs. The original documents are here. So, the Haruno's are nothing more than just the handlers. Even their own documents say that. <laughs> and what are you planning, Gigi? Well, Naruto, I want you to train the three of them. As Naruto stopped. Wait, what? What do you mean, train them? The tuning exams are near. But it has still two years worth of time. It is up to you to push them to the ground and train them so hard that they are the best of the best. Hmm. Two years, huh? What would I get out of it? Think, Naruto, said Donzo. The clan, they have no affiliation with them. And you, as the clan head of three clans, are required to go into CRA. The three of them will fulfill the condition. Donzo! Wait, so you're saying that I'm training my own wives? Kind of, yes. As Naruto blushed. Um, uh, have, have they made a sure of that? No, they're not yet. <sighs> Listen, I will choose my own wives with all due respect, Danzo-sama. And if it ever comes to that, then I'll, I will tell you the truth. But, putting that aside, I will train them. Because if it wasn't for you all help, the village would have treated me the same and maybe I would have been in their shoes. So yes, I guess I will help them because if I can deserve a second chance by you all, so does they, by me. 
as all of them smiled at this. Thanks, Naruto. Thank you so much. No, don't thank me yet. Because the job is already beginning. As now we see the next day, the three of the Gandins were called. As they had rusty kunais, broken equipment, and even tattered armor and clothes. Uh, Hokage-sama, why have you called for us? Said Ino. As he looked towards them. Team Zero, you are called here because you are going to get a sensei. Sensei? But none of the Jonins wanted to teach us. I know. But he is a Kage level shinobi. Ghost. And Anbu. Ghost sama. Said Sakura. Uh, you know him? H Hinata said. You know him? He, he is a triple S rank level Anbu. And nobody has seen him move. The one who was able to see him died after reporting this to the. Well, bingo book authorization and getting it published because of the nightmares that he had. Damn. So that is our sen oh, that is our sensei now? Yes. He has given you a chance. A chance to fight and make a stand for yourself. You see, the truth is the missions that you have been receiving were actually funding help from my side up until this point so that you could survive and live long enough. But that cannot be possible any longer unfortunately because of the you know already girls as they all flinch and look down with tear filled eyes yes said you know with a smile a good way not forget our own parents pushed for this isn't it unfortunately yes and that is why i cannot help you any longer but that doesn't mean that all is lost because naruto or ghost has agreed to help you out naruto you mean yes the same boy that helped you out at that time and you all were younger. As they all were shocked as Naruto arrived there in a puff of smoke. Yo, how have you been? Naruto said with a smile. As they were all just shocked. He was much more good looking than Sasuke. Not only that, he was helping them out again. As tears welled up in their eyes as they bowed. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving us a chance. Another chance. Look. Raise your head. It is no time for bowing. I'm gonna put you to ground and work as hard as you can. Because you're not gonna be Konomichis. You're gonna make Sanin look like Ganyans when I'm done with you in these two years. As they all gulped. Okage-sama, with your permission, am I allowed to take them on the outskirts of the village away from this mess? And conduct my own missions and operations. Allowed. As the elders did so as well. As now we see Naruto and the girls departed, leaving their apartment, and hence marked the beginning of their journey and training. The training progressed because progressed as follows. They were having a difficult time keeping up, and at some points Naruto was thinking that this was useless, but he knew that he couldn't give up on them. And the girls realized that Naruto was showing full dedication and determination, and even if they knew they couldn't do it, they pushed forward. Sakura was giving the physical training because Naruto wanted her to be the next, well, Sanin of none other than medical ninjutsu, like Tsunade. And on either side, he wanted Hinata to follow Orochimaru's line and become the next snake Sanin. And as for the toad Sanin, he wanted Ino to be that one. But when, it, when one year passed and he gave them the summoning technique to summon their own summons, to see what clan would call upon them, Naruto was shocked. Three of the legendary clans. As for Hinata, it was Armadillo clan. As for, well, Ino, it was none other than Swan clan. And as for Sakura, it was none other than the Phoenix clan because of their tears of healing. And the clans took them in for a few months to train while Naruto trained with his own clan, the Dragon Summoning Clan, which he has not revealed yet to anyone. As after a few months passed, they all returned. But, but when, when the girls returned, they looked all different and with determination. Armadillo Clan has taught Hinata stealth, precision, and how to fight even in the darkness without relying on each and every senses moving one's body like flow of chakra and becoming so dangerous 
so dangerous that nobody will be able to hit them and so strong that they could tank each and every attack as on the other side with swan clan he, Eno has become calm and calm at times like water as well as stealthful and observant like the swans when they fly over everywhere and alert as well and as for the phoenix clan it was a given Sakura could use the Phoenix Fire Fist style as well as their Sage Mode and not only that, the Healing Tears, much more advanced version from the Slugs. As for Naruto, he could use the Dragon Heart Flames and Dragon Style and even get wings like Dragon on his back. And now they had only a few months left to train. While this was going on, we go towards the other side. As the Chunin exams have already begun to prep up and set, as the other teams were already moving in and out, Team 7 was under, well, Denzo, as it was Sai and another Anbu from Root and Sasuke. The three of them were much more advanced than, well, in the canon story, but they were still arrogant. As now we see Team Zero arrived, they looked determined and somewhat serious. Their aura was different, the clans could feel it, but they did not know who their sensei was yet, because their sensei was not revealed yet. As now we see, Neji was the first one in the preliminary rounds after the first two tests were conducted to fight against well, Hinata. While he was mocking Hinata and berating her, we see that the match began, as he got into a Jukin style. As for Hinata, she got into a style that, sim that was similar to Jukin one, but a different one. And let's just say, when Neji attacked, his all Jukin strikes landed on Hinata as everyone smirked, only for Neji to scream in pain as his fingers were literally hurting as they were broken. As Hinata, she striked right in Neji's chest, causing him to cough huge amount of blood with a single strike. As Neji was lifted up from the ground, and then Hinata kicked Neji on the face so hard and then with a double strike sending him straight to the ground causing cracks on it. And then Axe kicked him above from above causing cracks even further to be formed on the ground. Neji was passed out so bad that he, his eyes even rolled back and was foaming from his mouth and even piss was coming out of his pants. Hinata has just quietened the whole stadium. The, 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 the winner of the first preliminary rounds Hinata, you no, Hinata is fine. As now we see Hinata leave, as everyone was shocked. Her Byakugan, is it? It's useless completely. She she cannot use that. Hanabi said, I made sure of that. As now we see, Neji's body was taken out, and the next match was between Sasuke and Sakura. As Sasuke then said, <laughs> Well, well, well. Hey, this will be an easy breeze. Just give up, Sakura, and I might consider taking you out. Shut the fuck up, bitch, and fight, said Sakura. What did you say to me? This ignorant girl. Can't she see that it is Uchiha Samaj that she is talking to? And let's just say when the match began, Sasuke lunged towards her with the Chidori in his hand, only for Sakura to rip the Chidori out of his hand and slam it to the other side because of the conducting and letting allow. And that she uh, that, uh, that is a secret technique that she learned basically okay and then she formed a fire fist on the other hand and slammed it on Sasuke's face causing his face to be broken and mangled making him look ugly grabbing him by his duck ass hair and then begin to swarm him around in circles until she launched him into the air and jumped up and landed an axe kick, axe kick on his head causing huge whole the causing the whole stadium to broke down and then she did this fire style phoenix kick as a whole phoenix of flames were swarmed behind her as the kick well matched from like a phoenix claw and landed straight on Sasuke causing the whole stadium to shake as everyone was shocked as Sakura stood up and began to walk away complete in silence until she stopped and looked towards the announcer the, the winner of this match is Sakura Harno Sakura is fine I don't need that pathetic name any longer as Harno Mibuki was shocked as she couldn't believe her eyes, her failure of a daughter did this. She was strong. Maybe she could convince him to convince her to come back. Yes, yes, she could. 
and same were the thoughts of Hiyashi. Now Inuichi, he was skeptical. His daughter, well, the, he, he, she was different from the others. But what if she is also strong? He needed to see. And lo and behold, the final match came between Temari no Sabako and Ino Yamanaka. Ino with a single hand seal immobilized her to the point where she was screaming where she stood and did nothing practically and within a few seconds the match was over, the shortest match and then she began to walk away. The winner of this match is Ino. You don't want Yamanaka name, right? Yes, I don't. As Inoichi was hurt by this but at the same time was quite shocked. And that is when we see the three clan had stood up. We would like to know who the sensei of these three are. Because we as hell sure nobody taught them. We made sure of that. As Naruto landed there, Kosama, everyone heard, said as the whispers spread out. As the three of the clan heads now literally flinched as Naruto took off his mask. It's been a long time. How have you been? I am their sensei. Name is Naruto Uzumaki Namekaze Senju, aka Ghost. As there was a moment of silence when everyone was then shocked and looked towards Kage for confirmation as well as the elders as they nodded and confirmed. As the civilians who weren't aware and hated him was now even more shocked that this brat was actually a Kage's child and their Kage who, dress, who just sacrificed his life for them. And this is how he repaid them? But the kid was a prodigal genius. At such a young age, a Kage level shinobi, Sasuke who was bandaged up was witnessing this and was shocked and terrified because he has known what Ghost could do. And Ghost was the one who rescued him from Uchi Uchiha Itachi who was about to kill him at the time as well. How could he not? He, he could forget about that. As now we see, Naruto brought out his three students and as the clan head, I would like to reclaim all the assets and position of Kagesama. Granted, even with the time his position, it has been allowed. And first and foremost, Haruno-san, you as the handler of the Namekaze Enterprise, which you call the Haruno Enterprises, will be handed back to me. If you want to confirm that, go and check the original trajectory and documents. It is written there. As after it was confirmed by the Hokage, she couldn't do anything but to be kicked out of her own company and Naruto was the new head. Now Sakura, you are the new head of that company because I know you have a kank for well business administration as well while being a shinobi. Yes, Naruto-sama. No, I would like to make another announcement. Since these three are not a part of any clan and pretty much orphans, I would like to adopt them into my clan by making them my wives and making them the clan matrich of each clan. Sakura for the Namikaze clan since they are also a business clan. As for Ino, she will be for the Senju clan. And as for Hinata, the Uzumaki clan. And henceforth my CRA is concluded. I would not be taking anyone from this village or any other village into my CRA. I only need these three. As the three of them blushed when they heard this. Not only they had a crush on their sensei while well, the two, two years worth of trading trip but they also loved him secretly. But confirming this. They were never letting this go. Even if he was doing them to protect, doing this to protect them, they were not letting him go because this was the first person who showed them kindness, and not only that, believed in them, saved them twice from a living hell. There was no way they were gonna let him go, or even turn against him. He showed complete trust in them, winning them over. They will completely trust him and protect him for by sacrificing their own selves with their lives. While this was going on, the finals were announced. As after the finals we see, the three of the girls were approached by many boys to be swayed over, even Sasuke, only to be put back into the hospital, like much worse this time. Since they were matriches of the honorable clan, they couldn't do anything because Uzumaki's Namikaze's own 80% of the businesses in the land of fire and in other villages that surrounded minority of the vill minor villages and in Konoha as well. More than 60% of the businesses were owned by both of them. And as for the Harunos who were kicked out, they couldn't believe this. They have been handlers and now it was Sakura, their very bane. They tried to get her back, but she should show them the middle finger. This was a big disaster. This couldn't be happening to her. No matter how many friends she tended to, nobody would open their doors for her. 
And these were the same friends that enjoyed the suffering of her daughter whenever she offered them such entertainment. Now she was suffering on the end. And Sakura made every choice possible for her to suffer. And not only that, the Yuga and Yamanaka clan also suffered a huge backlash after, well, the people changed tides and behavior. And even the land of Firewind was confirmed about this. The people of the whole elemental nations began to hate on them. Their reputation was in decline and the teams that they, their clansmen were in, well, they were not even hired by the others because of their cruelty. And let's just say the clan's reputation was declining at a rapid rate and the, other da the daughters of the clan never expected them and accepted them back. Their so-called friends, whenever they tried to talk to them, they would be cold and wouldn't even bother saying anything because when the time of need arrived, those were the friends to cost off at the first glance of trouble. And as for Naruto, well, he was having a moment of his life. He reclaimed everything that he wanted. Everything was at peace, but there was something that he was forgetting that 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 he just couldn't grasp upon. <sighs> Seriously, kid, that is why I told you you need experience. Oh, shit. Don't tell him. He thought to himself, yup, you forgot about your main goal, being the Kage. Oh, I'm going to be the youngest Kage and this and that. <laughs> it was all for naught, I knew that much. Oh, Kurama. My friend, I, I forgot about this, you gotta help me out. What do you mean help me out? Said Kurama, literally stopping Naruto with its tail as Naruto was trying to dash towards him to give him a hug. And please, just stay away from me. No huggy buggy, please. I don't like this sort of behavior, Naruto. You're not a kid anymore. I am still. I am 14 years old, mind you. 15. Ah, uh, whatever. Same thing. Not the same thing. You're an adult. And a clan head now. <sighs> yeah, I get it. So what now? But now is that you focus and that is when he was brought out of his thoughts as there was a knock on the door as Naruto opened to see that well his fiance is now were standing there um Naruto-kun said Hinata yes Hinata-chan well um the, the Sanins are here to see you what what now the three Sanins are here to see you three of them wasn't Orochimaru a traitor well, they made a temporary truce, so they are here. As now we see, the three of them were seated there. As Naruto arrived. Uh, yes, anything can I, I can help you with? Hmm, we heard that the three of the girls that you trained are much more stronger than us. And have even the legendary summons. How about a public exhibition match? Hmm. Fine, Naruto said with a smirk as the three of the girls were surprised. Nar Naruto, why? It will not only help you out in the future, it will make your family suffer even further. And not only that, it will help make an awareness that nobody needs to fuck with you. If they do, you put them to the ground. It's like a warning that you're trying to send then? Said Eno. Yes, Eno. A warning. Good. Then an exhibition match is it is. But Rochimaru-san, don't mind me asking, but weren't you? We made a temporary truce, as it is said. Uh, okay. And... Then I guess everything is settled. No, Naruto, I have something to talk to you in private. As now we see, Naruto and Jiraiya were on the other side. What? There is a group known as Akatsuki. Yeah, I am aware. They were a mercenary group, wasn't it? Made of most dangerous ninjas from different villages who went rogue. Yes, but I believe Madara is amongst them. Naruto's eyes widen. What? Yes, and I believe I found out their goal. They are trying to gather all the Nine-Tailed Bijus. Nine-Tailed Bijus? All of them? For what? For each of them each? No, Naruto. Something much worse, said Kurama with a grave tone. What could have it been, Kurama? Something that I wished wouldn't arise, it seemed. We have to talk about this. No, I will give you the information where they are. I know more than ca you are capable enough to deal with them. But before doing so, we need to settle our account here," said Jirai with a smirk. <laughs> Fine. If that's what you want, old man, so be it. And let's just say within a week, all of the Gens and everyone was there. 
And let's just say the exhibition match between the Sonnings and the three of them began. And so were the clan heads and those who were tarnished, as the trio of them were called, who well disregarded their clan heads and all that. First of all, we would like to see the summons of the clan, as the three legendary Sonnings summoned their three legendary summons, which were they were known for. And when a huge swan arrived, the golden swan, and as well as an armadillo and a phoenix arrived, they were shocked. The three legendary clans. It has been a long time since says. The three of them, three of the Sonnings clans bowed, uh, I mean summons bowed to the other summons. Senseis, as everyone was shocked to see this, this much of respect for these three. And plus, I would like to make an, another well, wildcard entry and say that I also have summons. Summoning Jutsu as a huge, huge dragon was summoned there as it roared, causing the whole stadium to shake as everyone was shocked and literally scared to see this. Ta-da! Naruto said and yelled out from his head, Oi, brat, how many times do I have to tell you? Not revealing me for showing off. Come in, come in, Draco-chan, but you know that I would like to do this only for Naruto to be grabbed by its two claws and brought to an eyesight. <laughs> Sorry, I, I apologize. <laughs> if it wasn't for me liking you, kid, I would have just burned you to a crisp. Anyways, uh, down you go. As the other clans were presented, as the dragon then said, Hmm, it seems all of you are here, my students and grandstudents. S Sensei, all of them said. As the legendary three Sonnings summons were practically just now close to forming out. Hmm. I am pleased to see that you have been able to acquire strong summoners. Yes. And this village, it has a stench, Naruto. A stench of greediness. I wish for it to burn. S Grandmaster, please, don't. We are... I know you are allied, and so am I. But if this village doesn't change its ways, or the people, I am gonna do something about it. Because we the dragons are not only a summon, but a clan that has existed even before the sage. I myself was a little one when I saw a sage. And let's just say, his teaching has brought nothing more than destruction in this world. Because humans have gone more greedy, and they are the cause of all the death and destruction of nature, and for us to go into hiding. We, we apologize, said Hiruzen Sarutobi. Ah, oh, come on, Draco Chan is just trying to threaten you at all. It's his way of saying that it was nice to meet you. Silence, you idiot. Ah, oh, come on, Draco Chan, you know you're, you're not mean like that. Enough, kid. <sighs> Jeez, why did I even make you my summoner? Anyways, all of you should dispel as well. And so do I. And if you summon me one more time because of this reason, I am literally gonna barbecue you. Ah, so you did like that one. As the dragon just created his teeth before leaving. As everyone was shocked, this Naruto kid, he was not normal. And the Grandmaster Summoner of all the summon, and not only that, he was able to make it look like it was a little kid. Well, he was the other way around. And let's just say the three Sonnins already lost before the battle began, and a message was sent out just how strong they were, and how much the village needed them, not the other way around. And let's just say the Tarnished, they just wanted their daughters back even more. But they couldn't do shit. As now we see Jiraiya and Naruto talking. What is it? Unbeknownst to them, the other two, well, Sonnies and the three girls were listening in. As they had, well, un understandable mutual agreement. The Akatsuki, they are in Amegakure. You are one of their targets. Knowing that you have the power, you are more than capable enough for destroying them. What are you gonna do? Obviously, I'm gonna go alone. Alone? But don't you think that I'm not gonna put my wives in danger? But what if something happens? Who will be able to? I already have written a will if something ever happens to me. They are the three clan heads next. And their children will be able to continue on the clan. And I have already passed on my DNA in three of them while we were training. So they are the legitimate clan heads now. As they were shocked. But the DNA is quite dormant. It will only activate once I die. I see. 
as that is when the door bursted open, only for the two of them to flinch to see the other were standing there. Three girls looking or more like glaring at Naruto. How could you do this behind our back? I am sorry because it was the only way I saw that I was I will be able to protect you all if I, anything happens to me. As Naruto was then grabbed by his cheeks by both of the hands of Inerta. You don't need to protect us any longer, Naruto-kun. We are strong enough to stand by your side. Let us please stand by your side. You have helped us a lot. Don't just don't just think of us as helpless beings who need your help. You have taught us, trained us as our sensei. A person we admired, respected and now love. Please don't do this to us. As Naruto's eyes widen, you see kid, I told you you had a lot to learn. Jeez, can you say anything else? You fucked up. Ha. Huh. Well, that's nice. <laughs> you, hey, you're the one who said something. Say it to something else. <sighs> what, what would my parents say? They would have bonked you in the head and said, "Come on, don't make our daughter-in-laws cry like this, and suffer." As Naruto's eyes widened when he heard these words, "I'm sorry. I was being selfish, you three. I promise I'll take care of you. And let's just say you have gotten us our interest peaked as well." Wait, really? Yes. Basically, you're a Senju clan head now, Naruto, and I would like to for you to have me at your side as your grandma, so to speak, because I'm an elder. <laughs> as Naruto then sighed, yep, you are an elder from both Uzumaki and Senju side, so obviously you're family. You're welcome to live with us any, any as, as much as long as you want. Hmm, it seems me and my someone has a lot to discuss. Plus, you have our respect, Naruto, since you are the Grandmaster Summon. And henceforth, if you require our assistance, we will obviously be there. As after that, Orochimaru left. Same goes for the toads and the slugs, I believe, said Jiraiya. Yep, said Tsunade. As now we see, Naruto arrived there with everyone else. As when they arrived, the battle began or more like an attack began from Akatsuki's side and hence the battle was commenced. The battle was going one-sided before as the Akatsuki were still strong enough to overpower them and separate them only for Naruto to activate something. The one Kekagenkai that has never been seen after only one person that would release. As Naruto not only summoned that Naruto was able to summon the most strongest form of it, the Shinju Senju, the huge Buddha statue with thousand fists, and descended upon the whole army Gakure, leveling it down. As it turned out, there was not a single civilian soul there. All of them were puppets or Zetsus, because Zetsu has been eating them as a food source one by one. As the whole Akatsuki was shocked by this. And not only that, Naruto then did something. Using the Uzumaki adamantium chains, the purple ones, the more purest form of them, Naruto was able to use them as a weapon. And then he was a Fujitsu master and a trap setter master. He trapped them so hard with ninja wires and Fujitsu explosive tags that most of the Akatsuki members were killed off, like instantly. Naruto freed his comrades, and in the end, a full on battle occurred, in which Naruto became victorious, obviously. As now we see Naruto panting heavily, with a lot of bruised bruises over his body. As he looked back, looked back towards his people, and chuckled. <sighs> it seems we were able to stop them. Yes. Yes, we were, Naruto. As he was returning back towards them, he was stabbed. Stabbed right through his stomach as he fell down to the ground. Behind him was standing Zetsu with a katana in hand. You think you have seen the last of me? I am still standing. I am still here. You all are nothing more than a part of history of Shinobi world that I created. I can erase you. I can destroy you. I can have I can restart this hell, this whole world if I want to. I will become successful in my goals. Nobody will be able to stop me and to make sure I did this, as a lot of orbs rise from the bodies that have fallen, and Zetsu became into some sort of a miniature form of the Ten Tails, a monster which was complete black, with green eye, Rinnet of Tensei gone, and he launched attack at everyone, 
Naruto watched his wives were handling the battle well, as were the previous Sanins, but they were getting beaten by this being. Turns out Naruto was able to use his own sage mode to see what was going on. And then he did something. Kurama, I think it is time. <laughs> About time, kid. About time indeed. As now we see Naruto bursted up in golden energy as a huge BG was created. Naruto then used his wood release abilities to call, create a wooden armor around the structure that was created. And two swords were made out of woodwork created in both of the hands of the BG. As Naruto and Kurama, with synchronized powers, lunged and forward and attacked the tentails that were created by Zetsu's formation with the nature chakra. And let's just say the battle was legendary and earth shaking, so much that the other villages also sensed the battle continue on. As in the end, Naruto did something. He lunged up into the air and gathered a huge amount of chakra. As Kurama created two huge Rasen Shurikens, the complete version of the Rasengan and lunged forward towards where the fake tail was. No, no, I will not go down like this. Not like this. You haven't seen the last of me. I will be back. No, said Zetsu, but it was all for naught because he was defeated. He was finally destroyed. Not even a chunk of his remained. Not even a molecule level of his remained. As now we see Naruto sitting on his knee, grabbing the wound as it was being healed. Damn it! <sighs> All my life, <sighs> I have been training as a shinobi, and for the first fucking time, I let my guard down and I get hurt. Shit. As now we see, the three of them rush towards Naruto as Sakura used her, well, Tears of Phoenix to heal Naruto's wound. Thanks, Sakura. Everyone, I think I exhausted myself. I need to rest. As after that, the battle, everything was reported by Jiraiya and even published to the other villages. And they became quite shocked and were grateful for Naruto. And let's just say, the first robe in battle and helping out the hero of the whole elemental nations earned a lot of goodwill to not only Sakura, Ino, and Hinata, but to the Sanins as well, who also confirmed that they three, three of them held upon their own against the monster, which even further added to the wounds of sword to the wounds of those who were tarnished. By the tarnished, if you don't know, I mean the Yamanaka clan and the Yuga clan and the Harunos, because these three were now pretty much invisible. And they were the poorest of the poorest, while the three of them were on the top of the world. How the cards have reversed. And as for the Uchiha, nobody wanted to marry him because, turns out, because of the beating that Sakura gave him, he couldn't have kids. So, yup. That was gone. The Uchiha clan was pretty much dead. And as for Sasuke, he has become so disfigured and well, ugly that even if a girl looks at him, she will just puke outright. And as for Naruto, he was announced as the next successor of the Kage after Tsunade was done teaching him as his assistant. As for the three girls, they were acting as the clan matriches and all that and have earned the respect of the whole elemental nation and they were working forward towards the peace. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this movie off guys, I hope you like this one and if you do then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of these channels and aside from that stay tuned for a story for my second channel as well, it will be uploaded today and regularly from here on out. Anyways, this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing off for the day. Peace!